East Texas Arrowhead hunting May 10th. Today we've got a couple hours before the kids get home from school and thought we'd go hunt some rocks. We're in one of our favorite creeks in town that used to be an old mill that's been converted into farming now. Coming up on one of my favorite spots by the waterfalls. I'll have to get back to you. Alright, looks like Brandy's found the first point of the day or something. What do you have down there? Hey. Oh man, cool. That's awesome. Sweet. Alright, we'll get back to you if we find anything else. Alright, I'm down in one of my favorite spots. Anything that sucks about this is you see all these holes. I wish y'all could smell this. Moccasins live all up in this mess. This is where, uh, for the last three years, I have always found water moccasins denned up in here. Anyways, it happens to be one of my favorite spots. It's full of rocks. There's a little waterfall that washes everything down. And luckily I hadn't seen no snakes today, but I sure can smell them. If you've ever been around a mo water moccasin, you'll know what I'm talking about. Anyways, I got my sifter here, and I've got something in here. Let's see. Dang, it's a little knife tip. Made out of some pretty awesome material. Once again, there's that creepy snake den. Get back to y'all soon. Alright, Brandy has found something else. I can't even see it. Ah, awesome. Alright, let's see what you got. Dang, cool. That's pretty nice. Alright. Alright, we're going to do the cleanup video on the hood of my... 84 FJ60. Here's the points we found today. As you can tell, they're all really creek stained. Found a cobalt blue Vicks bottle, polished stones, some miscellaneous tools, and check out this weird rock. I think it's just a natural formation, but it sure does look like a human skull. I mean, you can even pick it up, the bottom looks like a jaw. Pretty wild. Alright, get back to y'all soon.